Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts and another in my series looking at uh, shipbuilding and how you can make more effective ships. So today what we're looking at is engines. Now, when you are building a ship, I'm just going to hit auto design so that the AI gives me something to talk about. Um, there are a few things to look at when you are looking at your ship and how you want it to perform. The first is of course speed. The second is the engine type and the fuel and the boilers. So these three things and the speed are all very important. And you're probably fully aware of that if you've been playing Ultimate Admiral um, very much. However, there are two more things that you need to keep in mind. One is this figure down here, the smoke interference. And the other one is the engine efficiency. And both of these are hidden uh, over on the right, right at the bottom of the statistics panel. Now, when you're building a ship, um, it, it pays to keep this in mind. So I'm just going to grab one of the modern battleships. Now, there's a few ways you can approach this. You can either say, well, I want my ship to be able to go 30 knots, for instance, and you can build around that. So how many, and we can work out how many funnels you're going to need to do that. Um, but another way is rather than um, building to a set speed, you can go for a slightly different approach, which is to go as fast as the ship can go. So what you want to do is you want to choose your hull and your towers and put them down. This will give you a figure for the smoke interference and it'll be a negative number. Uh, what you'll also want to do is to make sure to choose your fuel type. You'll probably want to go with oil because that does change the number. Changing the engine type, however, does not. Uh, so feel free to go with whatever. You can choose this later, but choose your fuel type, put your towers down, and you'll get a number. In this case, negative 89. Now, if you go to the funnels section, you will see that each of the funnels has a smoke interference rating. 55 for the Mega Funnel 3, 52 for this um, Mega Funnel 2, and 35 for the Tall Funnel 1. Now this affects how much we can fit. So we, if we go for a single Mega Funnel 1, we still have minus 34 smoke interference left. We could maybe shove in, um, I'm just gonna move this for a second. We could maybe shove in another Tall Funnel 1 and we get a smoke interference of one. You kind of want the smoke interference to be close to zero as you can manage. So we could go for this setup. Um, oops, my mistake. Uh, or we could maybe go slightly different. We could maybe go for a few of the tall funnels. We could go for two of them. But I think for the maximum, I think the maximum we can get is going for the mega funnel three and a tall funnel one. This gives us the most funnel capacity for without increasing our smoke interference. And you can see there, it does give you a base accuracy debuff. If you go completely nuts and put down, say, just two Mega Funnel 3s, smoke interference of 21, so that's minus 6% base accuracy. This can get out of control very, very quickly. So do be careful about your smoke interference. Anyway, let's go for our um, setup of the Mega Funnel 3 with a Tall Funnel 1. Now this gives us uh, our engine efficiency. Now, ideally you want this to be 100% because you can see if it's less than 100%, you get more acceleration, but you lose torque at a high RPM. Um, if you get this closer, the acceleration increases. So the better your efficiency, the more acceleration buff you get, and you also get a bonus to torque at high RPM. That basically means that you're able to reach your top speed faster. So if you are maneuvering, engine efficiency becomes very important. Because if you have to turn and you've got a poor engine efficiency, your speed will drop, and then it will take you a very long time to reach your maximum speed again. So generally you want this to be as close to 100% as possible. There's no point going above 100%, if I drop it right down, uh, it, it doesn't go over 100%. So we want it to go at to be exactly 100%. So what we can do is we can fiddle around with the uh, speed slider and we find that we could go 25.5 knots and have 100% efficiency 
or we could go for 26 knots and we're at 96.5 percent efficiency which is pretty close um this is effectively the top speed of this ship without making a compromise we can make the ship go faster but we we will have to compromise on something but of course i'm just using diesels you can change the engine type now the two engine types you can choose between late game at any rate otherwise you just want the best engine you can get but once you get access to diesels there's a little bit of a choice double geared steam turbines and steam turbines in general give you the best engine power per weight so if i go for double geared steam turbines you can see my engine efficiency hasn't changed but my weight has it's it's a lighter ship this is this is what you want to go for if you want to build a fast ship that doesn't weigh a ton marine diesels offer less horsepower per ton they however their engine weight reduction does um offset that somewhat so does their fuel stowage but the real reason you take them is that minus 85 percent engine damage chance from penetrating hits and plus 175 percent to ship repairs on engines comparing to minus 45 and plus 64 the double gate steam turbines marine diesels are extremely hard to take out and that's important because these things are what pump water out of your ship and they keep you going so go for double gear steam turbines if you want to go fast with light weight but marine diesels if you want to be able to keep going fast even if you take a hit but it doesn't matter which one we pick we will still be going at the same top speed there is however one thing we can do to boost our engine efficiency and that is to change the boilers so at the moment we're going at 26 knots at pretty much 100 percent efficiency but we're using natural boilers there are three others induced forced and balanced induced increases your funnel capacity at the cost of a bit of weight uh, forced increases your funnel capacity a lot um, at the cost of a bit of weight on your funnels but also cost it's pretty expensive it will make your funnels go from 910 tons and seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars for the mega funnel three to one thousand four hundred and thirty three tons and one point three million so it does increase things quite a lot there's also balanced which gives you not quite as good a buff as forced but it is cheaper both in terms of weight and cost uh, and you have induced which is um, basically a lesser version of forced but you can see that in both these cases so just go with induced boilers here my engine efficiency has gone up to 100 percent. i can make the ship go faster if i want to in fact i can make it go very 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 fast almost maximum speed for a battleship which is 36 knots there we go. so this with induced we top out at 33 knots if we go for balanced we can go all the way to 34 knots at 100 percent so it gets us an extra knot or we can go for forced which will let us go for the full 36 knots so you can fiddle around with this as well if you find that your ship is not going fast enough on your natural boilers but i strongly recommend getting as much out of your ship on natural boilers as you can before going for your draft uh, boilers or your your force draft your induced or your balanced boilers um, balanced boilers don't seem like a good option um, until you factor in costs so if you're doing a challenge that involves costs so say we we wanted to go at 36 knots this thing costs 72 million so balanced and forced you can see the force is just slightly heavier and costs pretty much the same in terms of cash so balanced boilers can sometimes uh, help you out there um, very much a late game tech and it kind of it looks it looks like a why would you ever pick it it's more of a side grade from forced rather than a strictly better um, better engine anyway that's all i want to talk about today 
keep in mind your smoke interference. Try and get the most out of your ship on natural boilers before you start increasing them. Uh, and you've you basically got a choice late game between the steam turbines and the diesels. Um, the only thing you need to worry about with uh, speed is how far as well is the faster you go the more displacement you're giving over to engines so if you want a really really fast ship then you're not going to have as much displacement for other things but i cover that in another video anyway thank you very much for watching and i hope you that's been useful for you um and i'll see you again soon for some more ultimate admiral dreadnoughts Bye bye